Hi, I'm Selena Hill, the digital editor at Black Enterprise, and I'm here with DC Marshall. She is the author of Dear Black Man, We Love You. And she just did a phenomenal discussion titled Women Uncensored, Why We Love Black Men here at Black Men Excel, the first inaugural summit here at Black Enterprise. So Dee, that was a great discussion, very engaging. Um, if you can just talk to us about some of the key elements that you think are needed to sort of bridge that gap between black men and black women. Yeah, I think, uh, by the way, thank you so much for, um, for having me here. I think how we bridge the gap between black men and black women is to be more loving and to express our love through words. Um, so that's, that's what I would say the bridge is now because I don't think there is a question of whether or not we love black men. Do you, would you agree? I like, do agree. Like that's not a question of whether or not we love black men, but we live in a time where the world does not, or we're seeing signs that the world does not appreciate um, black men. And it's always been a struggle of their, their um, I think somebody said they're at the, you know, the lowest on, on the totem pole, so to speak. And so for us, I think our position of power is to just be more loving and to express it in words. Absolutely. Now in the book, what are some key points that you bullet to sort of, uh, so that black women can express this love that we have for black men in a way that's clear and effective? Yeah, I think um, clear and effective is speaking it out of our mouths. I, I think, um, you know, we've always known a way to show is to show rather than tell, meaning um, it's one thing to say, we, we love black men, but we need to show it in our action. I think we show it, but I think there is still a need for us to say it, so to say things. So for instance, in the book, I give five things that uh, black women need to say uh, to black men and what black men need to hear. Uh, somebody asked me, well, you know, is it, is it just for black men? And it, you know, it's for, it's for all, but you have to understand, I wrote the book in 2016. It was in a time, you get it now? Yes, right? absolutely. I mean, baby, in, in the middle of the year, were we not doubled over in pain about the senseless killings of black men, Alton Sterling and Philandio Castile. So that's the season of where I birthed the book. And that was a time where um, I just felt like we needed to say a, a few things. And so five things, I'll give you uh, three. I think one, we need to share with women or just to say, um, I respect you. Uh, I think that's one, I respect you. I respect you as a black man waking up every day, not about, this is not about like what you have or what you do or who you work for or the letters you have behind your name or the money that you have in your bank account, but it is, I just respect you for being a black man. It is difficult for them, you know, uh, to wake up every day. And, and I, I mean, I imagine that it's difficult. So I think that's something we can say more and, and, and we don't necessarily have to be in relationship with black men or have an expectation on the other side of it, just that I respect you. So that's one. Um, I think we need to say more, I appreciate you, right? Just, I appreciate you for being you, right? Not, I, I mean, I just think there's such healing power in saying the words, I appreciate you, and putting out gratitude. Because again, I think we are more, we, we show, like we're more, we've been groomed to like to show or to express our love, I think, in action. But I think there's still a miss now in saying these things. So I appreciate you. Um, another is I forgive you. So I think a lot of us need to say I forgive you. Maybe we've been, um, you know, offended in, in, or, or maybe we've been um, on, the, uh, on the receiving side of some offense and he wants to say I'm sorry or he wants to ap apologize, we need to receive the apology. But sometimes men may not necessarily say it, but you can feel it in their being that they are carrying some guilt for something they said or done. And so I think just saying I forgive you. Now certainly there's a bigger story behind the I forgive you, which I talk about in the book. Um, but that's one of the things that I say or to shared with this, with this man I forgive you because he asked for my forgiveness. He said, would you forgive me? And by the way, this isn't making sense. I mean, I think you know the backstory. It's the book came out of, um, you know, an encounter with a man. 
I guess we'll leave it like that. They need to read the they, book. You need to read lastly, the book. Lastly, why is it so important, do you think, for us to bring this conversation here at the Black Men Excel Summit? Because if black men are going to excel in life, um, I think we are a part of the excelling. I think certainly there are men who will excel without us, but I do think there is um, fueling uh, substance in us being part of the accelerating. Um, if black men are looking to do more, uh, be more, be better, uh, live well, accomplish their goals and dreams and, and go after what they are, have been divinely created to have and to step up into their rightful place. I believe uh, women have a place in that. We were wired. I mean, we, we birthed boys who became men. So it doesn't make sense that the excelling would happen without without women Absolutely. and and without anything, without any attachments. Absolutely. Thank you again, DC Marshall. We're here at the Black Men Excel Summit. And they can get the book at... Oh, yes. Tell yes. us. Uh, so www, just go to Dear Black Men, uh, Dear Black Man, we love you com to pre-order the book today. When does it come out? Uh, September 13th, pre-order, and it releases on November 15th. Absolutely. Thank yep. you again. Thank you.